all right everybody how is it going now the 5th of march is coming up and why am i mentioning the 5th of march because on the 5th of march like every month in the year on the 5th uh smmt data comes out and that's how many cars got sold last month so how many cars in march now march is usually a big big month because there's new registrations so i'm expecting it to be a big month uh, a big month big numbers um so when the 5th of march comes i'll make a video and see if ev sales are up or down or in or out or shaking it all about <laughs> right but the reason why i'm saying this today instead of the fifth is because an interesting article popped up on the old internet and i think that is dated yesterday and the headline says this now people who hate evs hold on to your handbags electric vehicles are going mainstream whether you like it or not Oosh. <laughs> have that right so what is it all about well the reason why i'm talking about the smmt data is because every month if i say the sales are up the people who really don't want evs to succeed come on to my video and they tap away at the old computer or, ta or tablet or phone or whatever it may be whichever they're using and they say nah right because that's that's how i imagine they, they're talking nah right um they go nah it's all fleet sales no private buyers are buying them it's all fleet sales now a couple of people have made comments uh some of my subscribers have said that it's not all fleet sales and i haven't been able to find anything and information on it like exactly on it but this article popped up today so you've got to wait I, i'll read the article now in a minute um i know you're all on the edge of your seats <laughs> um so the article is talking about uh fleet sales and why why it's not all fleet sales now the people who don't like evs like i just said they will tell you it's all fleet sales and no private buyers are buying electric vehicles and this article explains it it's it straight out explains it it's quite simple actually um and it says it starts off by saying one of the latest arguments and, and when it that's a good start really because <laughs> there's always a new argument like i said goalposts are always moved once one argument is quashed a new one comes along so batteries only lasted three years then after after electric cars have been around for five years now they said batteries only lasted five years after after you know you know what i mean after when there's eight year old cars on the road then they say they only last eight years now there's only 10 10 <laughs> 10 year old there's 10 year old cars on the road they only last 10 years so the goalposts keep moving um i think there's some there's some 12 year old uh, ev still on the road so they they are now saying 10 to 12 years see see how the goalposts are moved um so that that number will move in a couple of years and they'll say batteries only last 14 years whoosh <laughs> um and in a couple of years time they'll go batteries only last 20 years Ooh. um so right i'm, I'm saying i'm going off on a tangent right let's get get back to this story um one of the latest arguments against electric cars at least in the uk so this is the uk uh is that they aren't selling well because they're only being purchased by fleet customers right and i have had that comment so many times so 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 many times um now this sort of goes into the re into it and this is industry data in 2023 showed that 76 percent of bev sales were to fleets and only 24 percent to private buyers now it says however however this could be a misunderstanding of the sales figures now like i said some people have mentioned this before um you know who you are you've said that it, it's it it's for particular reasons um and i said it's, it's been used to downplay on the ev market that in reality is going from strength to strength and about to enter a new phase now it says the key factor I haven't got my glasses on so i can hardly see that over there um 
it says the key factor is what counts in the f as a fleet vehicle in the UK. And salary sacrifice schemes have been hugely popular. So salary sacrifice schemes. So that doesn't mean it's a fleet, it's a salary sacrifice scheme. And uh, it says because they provide the opportunity to save you thousands on owning an EV. No, no, I know. Look, I've set them off now. They're going to complain because they're, oh, they're having it cheaper because they're, they're, they're right? <laughs> they want the EV people. Uh, so you can make them even cheaper than buying the equivalent internal combustion engine because internal combustion engines got more taxes on it and stuff like that. I think is much cheaper to buy an EV this way. Um, so it goes on to say that uh, because your car payments are deducted from your gross salary before tax, they reduce the taxable income, saving loads of money on income tax, reducing effectively the monthly monthly payments on your car. OK, you do still pay some tax. Um, benefit in kind, I think is called. This is a tax percentage. Uh, a lot of you people know this already. Uh, is, I think it was, it says by you, it was, was it 0%? It was 0%. Now is it went up 1%. Now it's 2%. And the rate will rise 1% a year until 2028 when it will reach 5%. And that's still good. It's Even 5% is still good. Um, so it says EVs are much cheaper to buy through the salary sacrifice scheme. And it's saying by you that you would be bonkers not to buy an EV that way if you it'd be bonkers just to buy an EV outright if you could do it through the salary sacrifice scheme now probably I'm not saying that everybody can do it but they're saying that it's uh, a lot of the people aren't doing this now they don't put the exact numbers down but if I look at the go to the end of here and I'll have a look right it says the exact figures are hard to come by but it says 61,900 37 of third quarter fleet sales was salary sacrifice. Let's try and say that. So, and 42% of Q3 fleet sales were BEVs. So that implies that there's a considerable skew of BEV sales to fleet buyers. No, wait a minute, I'm saying that wrong. Stop. Let's try and read that right. <laughs> so that implies that the considerable skew of BEV sales to fleet buyers is likely to be cars for personal use purchased via salary sacrifice. Oof. There we go. I can't, now I'm not quite sure the numbers there, but let's read that read again. The figures are hard to come by, but, and this is for fleet sales of the third quarter. So the third quarter was 61,937. But I'm saying that a lot of them fleet they, they weren't fleet sales. So basically, what I'm saying is, a lot of them weren't fleet sales. They were the, through the salary sacrifice scheme that counts as a fleet sale. Now, like I said, some other people have said that to me before, but I had to have it in writing to understand it to get it in my head. <laughs> so, so when the fifth of March does come, now I hope you followed along with what I was saying by there. Um, I might not have made much sense, but if I didn't, if I did make sense, let me know if I made sense or not. But basically what he's saying is, is that the salary sacrifice scheme, which is p basically people, personal buyers, counts as a fleet sale when it's not a fleet sale. If you know what I mean. Um, so there we go. That's what I wanted to say. I just wanted to get my video out ready for the 5th of, the 5th of April. The 5th of April, that's right, there. March, April, <laughs> yeah. I forgot where we are then. Um, so it'll be, the 5th of April will be the car sales in, in the UK for March last month, or the month we're still in at the moment. Um, so it's, that's going to be really interesting because, like I said, March is a big month, and I, I want to see what the BEV sales are. Um, put your guesses in the comment section. So, section. Are BEV sales going to be up quite a lot in March? Are they going to be flatlining? Are they going to be lower? Put your guesses below. And did you understand what I was saying? Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi!